Hey guys, so this is a video of my spider, something I did to it. Alright, so this is the gun, not the barrel on right now, because I'm sure I got something. So I'm going to put the barrel on it. Um, basically, I had an old, uh, it was one of those um, Sports Authority guns, like the Mossberg, um, like M5000. Um, actually a pretty nice gun for like 30 bucks, Springer shotgun. Um, you know, it's not a bad deal. You got a nice working shotgun. It lasted me about five years. Um, had nice accuracy, nice FPS. Just a good starter gun. Good backup gun. Um, also a good, like, CQB, you know, turning corners gun. But, uh, it broke, so... I have some of the spare pieces and I was just messing around and I've... Since my MR1 barrel is flush, like, there aren't any ridges on the barrel. Um, which is really nice. I like that. Um... I thought, you know, why not make this thing look really cool? Because I found the pump from the uh, gun. So, I tried it on the barrel. Since the barrel has no flushes, it literally fits perfectly on the barrel. But just tight enough that you don't need to hold do anything, it stays on the barrel. You can see it's not coming off there. It's nice and snug to the, uh, to the gun. And it even has this ridge right here. So you can put it in it fits. Right here, comfortable, really nice. So, it really gives you a nice grip for the gun. You don't need to get any, uh, I don't even know if they make an attachment, but you don't need to hold it like this anymore. You can get a really nice, comfortable, tight uh, grip on the gun. It just, you know, see if you guys can see, make sure you guys see. It's just really, really nice, snug and comfortable. Um, you could always take it and flip it around, and then you'd have your grip on the bottom, but it's not as sturdy that way, because this doesn't lock in down, um, when it's like this, it's really, really nice and locked on, nice and snug, you really get a nice, nice grip, the other nice thing is since it's very expensive to get, like, those sight attachments for a paintball gun, what you can do is you could even, like, drill in a bead, or even a screw, you know, you could use a screw, you just take a screw, drill it in here, make it long enough, or even take a sight, and then somehow attach a sight in here, stick it on, super glue it on, glue it on, stick it, center it, and then you'd have a front sight, and even a front sight is better than a root, no sights, right now, you can either mount a sight, which is going to be expensive, or you could put your bead, or your front sight, you could take like a, I don't know if you would mount like a magpul sight, but like, um, even like a, a, a the rear sight of a pistol, you know, that would be high enough. You could mount that on there. You might want something a little bit taller. Maybe you have like a, um, like one of those SOCOM gear, those really high tactical, tactical looking sights. Uh, just mount that on the tip, and then you'll have a front sight to aim, and that would just give you your, a general idea. I mean, right now, um, I tested this out, and it's really, really comfortable. Um, you can really... Grab the gun on nice and tight, comfortably. And, you know, I don't need sights to fire a paintball gun, but some people do. Um, I just also think it looks really cool. It makes it look almost like World War II era. It makes it look more realistic, in my opinion. And it's cheap. For 35 bucks, you can get the shotgun, take off the pump. But you can also probably just get a pump, find a pump somewhere. Um, it just happened to work for me. But I'm pleased with it, you know. Not just that I get a nice fun shot, like, but I got a nice uh, paper gun attachment now. And the nice thing is it just comes right, right off. It's a little bit sticky, but uh, that's because that's a good thing because it means it holds on tight. But then you see you got your barrel. See, it's not comfortable to hold the barrel like this. You feel retarded holding the barrel like this. The other thing is like with a real gun, you won't touch the barrel because the barrel is going to be hot because the friction of the bullet getting out gets it hot. With paintball guns, the barrel don't, doesn't get cold, uh, hot, it gets cold. The barrels get really cold. So, literally, you know, like, I've sh if you shoot a paintball gun enough, if you go down to touch your barrel, it'll, like, you know, you like you lick the, don't lick a light post when it's cold outside. Don't lick a paintball gun barrel after you're done putting about two, three, two or three hundred rounds through it. Because, uh, your tongue won't come off. Um, so this makes a really nice little protection from the cold. You won't feel the cold. You can grab onto your barrel, get a nice uh, 
nice grip on it without getting the cold, or you can grab it like this and it still looks cool. It makes the, uh, the barrel and the rail, makes it flush, or, you know, almost flush, but, like, flush, and then it goes down here. I think it looks really cool. Almost like, uh, like not easy, but, like, it has that look, that really cool, uh, like one of those, uh, internally suppressed, uh, MP5 models. That's what I think it kind of looks like. But again, um, it's just fun stuff like that to do, you know. Find a broke down part, pop it on somewhere. Doesn't even need to be a paintball gun part, it'll work, as you can see with, uh, this. Um, but, yeah, uh, so, hit me up if you have any questions about it. I mean, I'll try it out in a paintball, uh, skirmish, but I, I, I would definitely use this. I mean, it's... It's definitely comfortable, and it's not uh, heavy. It doesn't add weight to the gun. It doesn't decrease usability. If anything, it adds on to it. If you need, some people use this small gun for like speedball. So you just pop off this thing, and it just gives you a better grip. So if you're, you know, doing your, I don't do speedball. I don't know how you would do speedball, but you'll sometimes see them grabbing like the barrel area and kind of come around. So you know that can't hurt. It, it doesn't hurt anything. There's no downside to having this on here. Um, and it looks pretty real, you know, if you just look at it from far away. Looks like a nice real wood foregrip, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, so, yep. Comments, questions, I'll respond. Um, I think that's it. Um, stuff back on, show you guys one last time, so I haven't had any paintball gun shootings up, because I just haven't had the time, and I haven't, uh, had the CO2, but, um, yeah, I think it looks good, so, I'm planning on keeping it, and using it, but, uh, yeah, so, cool, thanks.